Hi, in this video I'm going to do an end-to-end -end on installing Ubuntu in uh, Oracle VirtualBox. So, uh, first thing I did was uh, go to Ubuntu download and I downloaded um, the ISO file for Ubuntu 14.04 and you'll notice it's 987 megs uh, in comparison to the previous version which was 900 megs and the one before that which is 800 megs. So uh, let me go ahead now and set up the new VM. So I'm just going to name it Ubuntu 14. And uh, it's a Linux 64 bit. I'm going to give it 2 gigs of RAM. And I'm going to create the drive. VDI next, uh, dynamically allocate, and I'm going to give it uh, just 80 gigs. I'm just call it uh, Ubuntu 14. Okay, so now that's set up. I'm going to change some of the settings here. Give it uh, I actually have an 8 core processor so I'm, uh, I'm going to give it 2 cores acceleration I give it 64 megs of RAM video RAM and I can't do 2D video acceleration and the problem with that is some, some of my desktops won't be able to work on uh, XRDP because it actually requires hardware acceleration. Uh, specifically, it's the GNOME sessions that won't work, but I could always use KDE or any other session. And I'm going to change my adapter to bridge adapter, which will actually get the um, IP address from my DHCP server on my network. So I'll have a regular IP address that is native to my internal network. Uh, so that looks about right. And I am going to start up. And it's going to prompt me for a file. In which case, I will point to this file here. Bluetooth 14. And in another video, I'm going to actually going to do the same exact thing with a uh, VM player. VMware's VM player. So um, right now it's starting up, uh, booting off of the virtual CD-ROM, which is the ISO file. And uh, I think, yeah, I'm just going to try to enlarge it, but it makes no difference. So it's uh, just loading right now. Likely going to uh, be setting up all the partitions. Okay, so it's booting up the installation screens. And I'm actually going to do an install here. So I'm just going to choose install. And this takes about 15 minutes, 10, 10 minutes to 15 minutes. Um, I'm just going to hit continue because this is already the latest version. And I'm going to click install now. So it's a fairly simple install. Um, actually e a lot easier than Windows. Doesn't give you as many prompts in fact. And I am VM. Go to fourteen. Put in my password. And I'm going to click continue. So, um, Right now, it's it's gonna copy the files and then it's gonna do the installation. 
so there's there's really not much here after this it's pretty much done and it'll just reboot uh, this this by itself copying the files takes a while um, a while meaning five minutes or ten minutes so I'm just gonna flip through some some of the newer software that this release 14 has and it comes with a lot of the software by default for example uh, it comes with LibreOffice which is similar to StarOffice So I'm just going to flip through these and uh, once it's uh, done copying. So let, let me put it, let, let me pause this video while it's copying and uh, I'll be back when it's uh, done copying. So it's done copying the files and now it's just installing the system and this will take another probably 3-4 minutes. Uh, so it's it's just gonna, the progress bar is just gonna go, um, there's not really too much stuff that it goes through. Um, it, it'll probably tell you the packages that it's gonna be installing but that's about it. So uh, I'm gonna pause it here also and uh, be back when it's done. Um, installing so you'll see here it's going through all the packages now so um, 8 of 11 scanning the mirror retrieving files so it's actually downloading set of uh, new updates or something all right um, let me pause it here and I'll be back when this is done Okay, so it's done installing and now it's just asking uh, for me to restart. I'm going to click the restart button now. And what, one thing I'll have to do is I, I'll have to install the virtual box, uh, the Oracle virtual box uh, guest editions for X11. Uh, otherwise the resolution uh, won't be able to change it. It's like some very low resolution. So I'll also be doing that right away. Uh, once this reboots and, and you'll see what I mean uh, after I do it um, but for the most part it, it looks like it's um, now ready to uh, boot up for the first time and, and I'll restart it one more time uh, after I install the X11 virtual box guest editions uh, so it supports a higher resolution and and it, it, it'll be good for normally for you to also install the XRDP so you can remote desktop in and I have that in several other videos that I've done uh, for virtual box so you'll see it's very low resolution right now and let's see yeah so I am gonna log in here so I'm logging in for the first time this is uh, Ubuntu 14.04 LTS and it's a little bit slow be because it is a virtual machine uh, especially when it's booting up I guess for the first time also so that that was actually relatively quick so let me install the guest editions here so I could get a higher resolution than this uh, probably six, 640 by 480 so I'm gonna do sudo app get and I always forget what the package is. I believe it's virtualbox guest x11. See if that works. Oh, that actually worked. Uh, so right now it's it's installing it.
and, and this will make it aware of uh, the resolution that I'm setting it as uh, as I resize the window so this is really what this is for more for the screen resolution and right after it's done I'll be rebooting so this entire process has probably taken about 15 minutes uh, it doesn't take long at all okay it look, looks like it's almost done okay so it's done so now I'm just gonna reboot and I'm gonna widen the screen here and it will natively know I, I might have to go into settings and actually set the resolution but I think it'll probably pick it up once it reboots looks like it have some sort of preloader here I think this is a little bit different than the uh, version 13 and again I'll, I'll be doing another video on uh, VMware VM player so it, it was able to do a higher resolution you'll notice when I resize there it actually picked it up so there you go that is the uh, installation of Ubuntu 14.04 I, I guess I can go over a little bit of the on the surface it doesn't seem like it's uh, too different than 13 Ubuntu 13 okay so there you go that that's it um, I'll go to system settings resolution so it, it picked it up and it knows it's a virtual box so all right thank you for watching